locks. You see all the stuff that we're doing in the instructionals. Mm. Yeah, it's um, it's so interesting to see that systematic, like very technical approach spreading. You know, like that that it, you do see these very very clear pathways that you guys choose, and then you see other people adopt those pathways too, and you yeah. see them follow the real the same things that John is teaching you guys. You see them. You see other people adopting that. So for like ADCC, we have eight qualifiers. So if you win the qualifier, you get to go to the world championship. So we have North America, South America, Brazil, Europe, and Asia. The interesting thing to me is the North American trials have skyrocketed past the other regions, past Brazil, past Asia, and past Europe. And th this was the first time I did the Brazil trials. Um, very tough, you know, it's a fighting culture, but they're lacking the wrestling and the leg lock. And if they don't, if they don't adapt quickly, that gap between the North American athletes and everyone else is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's pretty crazy that Brazil, they rejected leg locks for so long that some of the really, really high-level black belts, like if you tap them with a leg lock, the crowd would throw shoes at you and boo at you. Yeah, it used to be viewed as a dirty technique, to be honest. Which is so weird. Well, the thing is, it all, it all comes down to technology. The, the people who have the most technology are going to ultimately win over you know x amount of years um so a big problem for brazil is the best technology that they have access to or that we have access to is the instructional videos like if you could if you can be anywhere in the world and buy a john danaher video or a gordon ryan video and you can watch that uh that, that in my opinion is the best technology that you have a problem with brazil is my instructionals are 250 dollars that's a thousand reais and i have 20 of them so you're really going to get someone in Brazil that's going to spend 20,000 reais, 20,000 like dollars for us on my instructionals. They don't have a lot of people in Brazil don't have the financials to be able to purchase the technology. So that mm. that's that's going to make it harder for them to stay at the level that, you know, America, Europe um that that we're that we're operating at because they just don't have access. A lot of them don't have access to the technology. Many of them do, but many of them don't. Um so it's going to be interesting in the next 10 years. It's like if you took two islands and you put nerds on one and you put jocks on the other and you have them fight in the first four months, the nerds are going to get beat up. But then two years from now, now they have fucking spears. They, now they have guns five years later. And then the meatheads are still just trying to throw rocks at, at, the, at the nerds. Right, right. Um, so ultimately, technology is going to, is going to prevail. Um, so I think the big problem that Brazil is running into uh, and will run into is they, they don't have as much readily accessible technology um as as america for example um so i think in the next decade or so it's going to be a, com a competition between america and europe russia when when it starts getting money pushed into the sport and it gets bigger you get a guy who's been uh, who's been wrestling all his life who's fucking grew up in the fucking middle of nowhere russia who starts taking up jiu-jitsu at an early age and he's wrestling like that's going to be a problem